Hey everyone, uh, welcome to uh, another Python tutorial video. Uh, today we're going to be going over numbers in Python. So there are three uh, num number data types in Python, and those are going to be your ints, such as uh, three. Uh, there are also your floats, um, which are things like decimals, like 9.8, which is a float. And finally, we got things like complex numbers, uh, which are, uh, well, complex numbers, so real and imaginary numbers, like uh, 1j. So here are your three data types. And as always, you can always check the what kind of data type a variable is by using the type function. So if I do print type i, print type f, and print type c, then when I run the program, I'll get int, float, and complex, respectively. So the first uh, number data type we're going to go over is integer. And integers are basically your positive and negative whole numbers, uh, also zero, uh, since zero is also an integer. So uh, the name is pretty self-explanatory. Um, they are integers that are the same, the exact same as the integers that you know in mathematics. So uh, these can also be of unlimited lengths. So for example, this is an integer. And as long as it doesn't have a decimal point, um, it's an integer. So this is also an integer. Um, if I just had zero, this would also be an integer. And yeah, that's basically what an integer is. A float is a decimal point, or sorry, a float is a decimal number. And like integers, they can also be positive or negative, and they can also be of unlimited lengths. Uh, the only difference is that they have like a um, a decimal point. So for example, 89.0 would be a float. So would uh, 78.425, um, even things like pi, are also considered floats. Uh, we can also use scientific notation with floats. So what scientific notation is, is it's basically uh, writing things in terms of powers of 10. So for example, if we have like a really long number, instead of writing out all the digits, uh, we can instead do something like uh, 9.87 and then uh, e to the 50 or something. So this would be 9.87 times 10 to the 50th. Um, yeah, so by using E, that's conveying scientific notation, or at least like a power of 10. So um, I think that's pretty much it with floats. So up next are going to be your complex numbers. So complex numbers are basically regular numbers, but we also have like an imaginary part. Um, in math, usually this imaginary number is um, i, right? Uh, where i is the square root of negative one. Um, here in Python, uh, we're going to be using the, the letter j instead of i. But it still means the same thing as i, so j would still be equal to the square root of negative one. So as some examples, uh, 3 plus 5j, that would be the same thing as 3 plus 5i. Um, 5j is also a complex number. Um, so is negative 8j, or even just negative 8, because um, that's just a real portion. So uh, since all of these are numbers, uh, we can convert between each of the data types uh, freely. So for example, if I want to convert something to an integer, like let's say I want to convert um, C, uh, okay, let's add some plus j's here, uh, plus one j, okay. So let's say I want to convert um, like this float, um, or sorry, maybe this integer i uh, to a float data type. So what I would do is basically, uh, I would do i equals float i, and that will convert um, mm -hmm. i to a float. Similarly, I can also convert a float to an integer. So let's get rid of this 9.87 e50 and just leave it at 9.87. So if I want to convert the float to an integer, I would just do int uh, f equals int f. 
And what this will give me is it will give me nine. Uh, so basically, it will truncate the decimal portion. And by the way, for the previous example, I will just get 9.0. Now, if I want to convert like an integer or float to complex, uh, I can just do uh, i equals complex i. So that would now give me um, 9 plus 1j. Or sorry, just 9, because there is no imaginary part. Now you can convert from floats and integers of uh, back to back to like um you can convert an integer to a float and a float to an integer, and you can also convert integers to complex numbers and floats to complex numbers, but you can't convert a complex number to a float or an integer, uh, mainly because there's no way to handle that imaginary part. Uh, so the last thing I want to cover um is random numbers. So Python doesn't really have like a random uh, number generator uh, built in to the actual code. So you need to um, import the built-in module, uh, which is uh, random. And then from there, you can use um, the random number function. So by going, so let's go over the, um, how to do this. So by doing this, we're going to clear everything here. And what we're going to do is we're going to import random. So now that we have imported random, um, let's say we want to uh, print a random number from uh, one, one through 10, right? So we will do something like this, uh, where, uh, <clears throat> where this is your start index and this one is your end index uh, plus one. So, uh, yeah. And if we run it, uh, we should get a random number generated. So this would be one. And if we run it again, we, okay, we got one again. Yeah, and then now we get nine. And then another nine. Okay. So this basically, pr so uh, the random number generator basically prints it from the start range to the end range minus one. So it's kind of similar to how substring works in strings and such. So this would technically a uh, random number from one to 10. So yeah, um, that's basically it for numbers. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, take care.